Welcome back to Cash Budget Insights, where I'm working on seeing if this whole cash budgeting thing really works. I'm working on tracking every dollar using a zero-based budget due to my daughter's chronic illness, as well as controlling some of my own emotional impulse spending on the really hard days. I would love to have you give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. That's a free way to throw a little support my way and help this channel grow. If you haven't heard it today, I want you to know you're awesome, you're valuable, and you have a purpose. Now let's dive in. All right, well, today we are going to be going through and doing all of my online transaction reconciliation. So I do a lot of spending online, mainly for like clothes and groceries, and then of course, just some miscellaneous items throughout the week. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So I'm going to go ahead and get out my online spending worksheet and I'm going to actually remove this. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this from my binder. And this is for my online spending worksheet that I fill out every week. And I'm going to set my budget binder off to the side so I can reference the transactions. There's just not enough room to have the binder and my worksheet flipping back and forth. So this is the easiest way to do it. So basically I'm going through each of my expense trackers and looking for any transactions that should have actually come from a cash envelope, but maybe for some reason I spent that money digitally instead. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that first. All right, so now that we have all of our transactions that should have been spent with cash categorized on here, I am going to go through and highlight like categories. That way they kind of jump off the page at me. So we are going to be looking at grocery, saving, fun, kids, pharmacy, miscellaneous, clothing, and medical. So let me quickly highlight these and I'll show you what I mean. So the next step in my process after I highlight like category envelopes is I like to decide how much I'm actually going to be putting back into the bank. So I need to either round up or down. I typically round up. So for this grocery transaction, it was $76.49 and I'm going to put a $77 back to the bank. And then for the savings kids, I'm also going to do $25. That's just an even $25 amount. For this one, it's one of my kids' birthday month. They've gotten some money and we allow them to put a certain percentage to save, a certain percentage to needs, and a certain percentage to wants. So this is part of the kids' savings that will go back into the bank. So they gave me cash and I actually digitally transferred the money for them. So I just need to deposit this back into our family checking. Or for this transaction, this was really, this was really great. My daughter um, who many of you know is ill. Um, so we can't go to the movies. So we like to rent movies when they come out and we just watch them together as a family. And it actually is way more affordable than taking a family of six to the theater. But it was, uh, it'll be $20 that I put back in the bank. And we actually own the third Trolls movie now. And we loved it. It was adorable. Um, my next transaction here is an ebook that one of the kids needed for school. So that is going to round up to $11. For the co-op second semester that my kids are involved in, I had to pay $75 for a couple of the classes. I have another grocery transaction here for $5.64, so we'll round that up to six. A pharmacy transaction, that's gonna get rounded up to 11. Another pharmacy, 924, that will get rounded up to 10. 
I wasn't really sure where to put this next one, which is where I love the miscellaneous envelope. So I love board games. It's one of my passions and hobbies is playing board games. And I had contributed to a Kickstarter campaign and I had to pay for some residual shipping. So it was $18.83. So I'm just going to round up $19. And then clothing for my kids is going to round up to $75. Another grocery, which will round up to 85. Another grocery, which will round up to 78. Um, A miscellaneous, this was just some office items that we needed, will round up to 15. Another grocery will be 68. And another grocery will round to 150. And then we had some medical labs that we needed to do. Um, Those are going to round up to $7.99, but I think I'm just going to do an even 800. Okay, now I'm just going to quickly go ahead and tally these up so that as we pull out the envelopes we need, we can take care of all of the transactions in one swoop. All right, so for grocery, it's going to be a total of $464. And then, of course, for the kids' savings, that will just be the $25 that I have in cash. For the fun, it's just going to be 20. Let's see, for the kids, we'll have the 11 plus 75, which will be 86. And then the pharmacy will be the 11 plus the 10, which will be 21. We have a miscellaneous for 19 plus 15, which will equal 34. And then our clothing will be 75, and our medical will be an even 800. So that is going to be a total of 1,525 that will go back to the bank. Now, some of my medical money is actually already sitting in the bank, so I will have to adjust that, but that's what we're going to start with. So the next step is we need to start pulling things from envelopes. So let's start with my grocery bill. So my grocery envelope is in my wallet, and we are going to need to get $464 from grocery. I had a lot of online transactions that took forever to come through, but they finally came through. And now I have to do the fun part of reconciling and paying back this money to the bank. So we have 100, 200, 300. I'm just going to go ahead and put that over in our cash tray because we know that all of that will be going back. And then we have 20, 40, 50, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So all of this grocery money is actually going to go back to the bank, and we are still going to need to reconcile and pay back some for our last grocery cash stuffing that we'll be doing later um, in the week. Goodness. There we go. All right, so we actually still owe 105 for our grocery. So I'm just going to make a note of that on here. So we still owe 105, but we were able to contribute 359. So I am going to go ahead and check off all of these transactions because I will budget that out and or potentially just leave this money in the bank instead of using it to cash stuff. That way that last week of groceries will just have a lesser amount. I always refer to the week prior when I'm doing my cash planning. So I look for notes like this so that I know how to cash plan my envelopes correctly. All right, next up, let's do savings. I'm gonna actually come back to savings because I have this cash down on the counter, so I need to go grab that, but let's go ahead and do fun. Okay, so I'm just gonna put my tracker back here for grocery, and then for fun, we needed to pull out 20. I don't know that we have that much. I think we may be short $2. Okay, so we are short $2. But we can put, let's see, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. Covered most of our Trolls movie. Um, And I think what I'm going to do is, hmm, I might come back and take care of that from miscellaneous. But for now, I'm just going to write $02. 
Then we will check off our fun Trolls movie we got to rent. Okay. Oh, and I forgot to put this back. Let me put this back really quick. And I want to see if we have anything else in here. So we did fun. We did grocery. Um, I don't have... Okay, kids. We definitely need to take care of kids. So for kids, we owe... 86 and it looks like I only have 75 in here. So we're still going to owe $11 for this one. So a lot of these are going to be reconciled in my next cash stuffing that I do. And I'll show you how I do that on my cash planning worksheet um, later in the week. So we have 20, so we have 20, 40, 60, 70, and five. Okay. So we can get this all back to the bank which is great. And so we are still going to owe $11 for that. So I'm just going to make a note of that. And I forgot to write that we did contribute 18 for fun. For kids, we gave 75, but we still owe 11. And that'll take care of these two transactions. Okay, and then we have, I'm going to go ahead and do miscellaneous because that is the next envelope here in my wallet. So let's see what we have in miscellaneous. We owe 34 and it looks like we can do that. So that's great. So we have 20, 30. Oh, okay. We'll give 35 and we'll take back a one. So 20, 25, 30, 35, and I already grabbed a one and change. So that will equal the 34 that we owe. And I'm just gonna quickly update the tracker. So we took out 34. which should leave us 29. So that's 25, six, seven, eight, nine. And that will take care of our miscellaneous transactions. Now I'm thinking about, I'm gonna go ahead and cover the fun transaction. So that'll be an extra $2. And that means we will have taken care of this. And I'm just going to update that to 20. And then I'm thinking about if I want to cover the 11 for kids. I think I'm going to hold off because I know that I'm going to contribute to kids still for next week. And I'm out of fun money. So I knew that I had to do that. So now for miscellaneous, we have 25, 26, 27. Okay, and that will be all set. Okay, and then I don't have anything for out to eat, so that's great. Okay, so that takes care of our wallet. Um, and we took care of miscellaneous, that was 34. So we're good there, and I checked those off. Okay, um, clothing. Let's go ahead and look at clothing. That's going to be in this brown binder here. And we owe 75, so let me see if I can do that. It looks like I can. So we have 50, 60, 75. Perfect. So 50, 60, 70, and five. And then I will update the tracker. So we should still have 52 in here. And that is exactly what we have is 52. So let me go ahead and put this away. And that takes care of clothing. And I am just going to mark that off on my transaction sheet here to know that that is all paid for. All right, let's take care of medical. Medical is also in here. So that's one I know I have placeholders in. So let me see what our balance is in medical. So it looks like we have a total of 1,474. And if we take away the 800, that's going to leave us 674. And I don't know what my cash looks like here. We have 50, 60, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So I can basically keep the cash in here that I have. And we are going to remove 
Well, I'm going to need to exchange some placeholders in here. So I think I'm just going to have to remind myself, and I don't have those up here with me right now, um, to do that. So I'm just going to put these in the back. And basically, the entire 800 that I owe is going to come from what is already in my savings account for medical. But I am going to need to add a $600 placeholder in here to show what's still in the bank. So I have $74 cash, 600 of that will still be in the bank. So I definitely am going to have to rebuild my medical binder, but that is just the nature of what we're living in. So this is actually going to be in the bank. Okay, so that takes care of that. Oh, and then I still have pharmacy. Pharmacy is 21. So let me flip back to pharmacy. Okay, so for pharmacy, I just need to pay back 21. So I'm going to do 25. And I will just get back my four ones. And that will leave us 20, 40, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 64 in pharmacy. All right, so that one is all set. All right, and then I ran downstairs and I grabbed that $25 for the savings. So I'm going to write that in. That is 25. All right, so I'm going to quickly add up what we actually are going to be giving back to the bank. All right, so we should have $609 that will be deposited back to the bank. I will be getting $800 from my medical savings sinking funds that's in the bank to pay off the credit card that I use to purchase these labs. And lastly, when I do my cash stuffing on Thursday or my cash planning, I should say, I will need to plan for $116 that I do have a deficit in my grocery as well as my kids envelope, which is fine because I know that I have money to still contribute to these envelopes for the month. So I will just contribute a lesser amount and leave these in the bank. Well, let's quickly count the money that we will be taking back just to ensure that we have the 609 that we need. So we have 200, 51, 150, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 10, 20, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, that is our $609 that will be going back to the bank. And this is again to reimburse online transactions that I had during the last week. Much of this is typically grocery. And then of course we had that really hefty lab bill, some pharmacy bills, some clothing. Um, it just never ends with a family of six. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> Well, that is all I have for you guys today. Now, later in the week, I will be back typically on Thursday to do my cash planning, followed by a Friday cash stuffing. And then my favorite time of the week are savings challenges where I take money that I am saving for my sinking funds and I play fun games and stuff envelopes and I just really enjoy it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. 